guys. I'm like amped today. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to do a Q&A. Thank you so much to those of you who sent questions on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure that you do because I post quite frequently on there. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do before you leave. We are almost to 20,000 subscribers. What in the world? It just brings happy tears to my eyes even talking about it. I can't thank you guys enough at all, ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to each and every one of you that hit subscribe. I beyond appreciate it. It means the world to me. Once we do hit 20,000 subscribers, I want to do another giveaway. <laughs> so let's make it happen. I am just going to go through the list here on Instagram. So the first one I see here, what are some of your hobbies? I love makeup. If you don't know, I actually started my YouTube channel based on makeup reviews, testing out makeup, makeup tutorials. It's just one of my favorite things. I also love skincare. I'm a huge skincare junkie. I love to go camping, anything outdoor on the water. I love to travel as well. Traveling is one of my favorite things to do. I've been to Spain, Italy, and Ireland and I loved each and every one of them. I really want to continue to travel the world. I want to tackle more of the United States. I was supposed to go to Nashville. That got canceled because of COVID. <laughs> so I love traveling. Traveling is a lot of fun. Did you lose friends when you became a cop? My close friends, you all know who you are <laughs> and I love each and every one of you. They have been supportive since day one. Did lose one of my friends from college over this debacle with police officers and um, BLM. So that was disappointing because she knows me on a personal level before I was even a cop. What does the liquid IV powder taste like? My favorite one is Seaberry, but they have a few other flavors. They have lemon lime, which actually does taste like more so lemon than it does lime. They have passion fruit, which tastes the most like juice. Sea berry, I think tastes kind of like Kool-Aid. I love the liquid IV powder packs. I use them every day. I do have a coupon code. So if you want to save some money with the liquid IV, 25% off. That will be in the description box down below. Do you want to have kids? I've gone back and forth with this. I initially wanted six kids. Who am I? <laughs> um, and then as I started working as a police officer, it's kind of sad to say, but it's like changed my view on that. I do eventually want kids, at least, at the very least, two. I love the idea of a big family. I come from a big family and I just, I love it so much. Who is your role model? You're one of mine. Thank you so much, that's so sweet. In the police world, there's a sergeant that I used to work with on an internship and she's just fantastic. She's intelligent, smart, knows a lot about the job so i would say in the police world she's definitely one of my role models my dad i think plays a huge role because i really appreciate his work ethic and i appreciate how much he's done for his family i just think he's a really hard worker and he never gives up and he's so intelligent with fixing things it's just very admiring ah <laughs> do you play video games if so which one is your favorite? I don't play video games on a regular basis, but if I do, if I have like an itch to kind of just play around with a video game, I like to play with my Nintendo 64, which I got back when I was a child. I remember the day that my parents actually got us one of those. It was Christmas time. And my mom is literally phenomenal when it comes to Christmas. She sets things up so amazing. It makes me smile so much when I see what she does in front of the Christmas tree, with the Christmas tree, she's top notch when it comes to that stuff. And my favorite game to play on Nintendo 64 is Diddy Kong Racing. Ah, do you guys remember that game? <laughs> I crush everyone on level one. There's no one that can beat me on level one, which I think is so funny. I played with my friends, family, no one can beat me on level one. <laughs> What are your favorite candle scents slash brands? So when it comes to scents within my home, I love citrus, fresh, 
clean type of scents. So I'm really into the sun drenched linen right now from Bath and Body Works. I think it's fantastic. And when it comes to home scents, I typically get all of my scents at Bath and Body Works. I know that's so basic, but I like that they have your favorite scent in multiple different things. So they have it in wallflower, they have it in a candle, they have it in a spray. So that's why I always go to Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Favorite Netflix slash Hulu shows. I love Working Moms. Working? I think it's Working. I love Working Moms. That show is hilarious. I love F is for Family. That one's on Netflix. The Bold Type. That one's a really good show. I also love any of the Real Housewives. I know that's so ridiculous, but they crack me up and I love how bougie they are. <laughs> I was really disappointed when they took friends off of Netflix. That's so annoying. What is your favorite animal besides a dog? I've always admired flamingos. They're just such interesting creatures that stand one-legged. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Do you iron your uniform or have it dry cleaned? I don't. A lot of the times the fabric that our uniforms are made with are wrinkle resistant. Do you agree? Best feeling after shift is undoing your hair as you as soon as you clock out. Absolutely. I love that feeling. Do you have interests outside of patrol? I am completely 110% comfortable where I'm at right now. I like that you get to do your own thing. It's working well for me. What do you do to unwind after a shift in a difficult shift? So I actually want to do a video consisting of how to decompress after working a police shift. But what I usually do is work out and then after I get that out of the way, I do my skincare routine. I do steaming. It's just like very therapeutic for me because I put the eucalyptus oil in there. So it's really relaxing and calming and then after that i have a glass of wine and watch golden girls <laughs> sometimes i'll read out on my patio because that relaxes me so much if you have issues with anxiety i definitely recommend reading it just calms your mind calms your body it's great for you and it makes you smart <laughs> how are you doing mentally i'm doing actually freaking great it was a struggle at first when all of this stuff kind of popped up. I had to take a step back from social media. I didn't want to post. I didn't even want to be on social media at all because I can't stand the negativity. I'm the kind of person that shuts negativity out so that I can live a positive life. I think that's part of the reason why I don't have Facebook because there's so much negativity on Facebook and I can't stand it. There's so many times where people have said to me, I can't go on my Facebook account anymore. I think I might delete my Facebook account. I, I mean, it's just overflowing with negativity and I just can't deal with that kind of stuff. My job has a negative aspect to begin with so when I come home I don't want any of that negativity following me back home into my safe space. I've gotten a lot of questions on how to stay positive in this career. Positivity is such a big deal to me. I hope all of you guys are doing just as well. I really want the best for each and every one of you. Do you have a favorite book? So my favorite book is You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Fan-freaking-tastic book. What's your favorite healthy foods and what do you like to do in your spare time? So I'm obsessed with salad. Salad is one of my favorite things. I hate iceberg lettuce. I'll puke if I seriously eat that. It's disgusting. But I really like the arugula spinach mix. It's my favorite salad blend and then I just love putting all of these random toppings including vegetables, cheeses, nuts, anything like that on top of my salad and just creating your own little creation. <laughs> really into making my own salad dressing. I just think that that's such a fun little alternative. What I like to do in my spare time, love spending time with my friends and family. I like to organize different things in my home. I love organization. What year did you graduate high school? 2009. What is your biggest strength? P.S. Love your videos. Aw, thank you. So my biggest strength, I think being able to remain positive. Are you from a big city or a small city i'm from small town what is your degree in criminal justice favorite movie and tv show i think my favorite movie of all time is the devil wears prada favorite tv show friends if you could spend one day with anyone from the past or present who would you choose and why oh i would definitely choose oh, i don't know how i could choose between the two but 
it would definitely be my Grammy or my grandpa. I don't have any grandparents left, which is so sad. If you have grandparents, please go hug them. Oh, they're just, they're just the most adorable human beings to ever exist. So yeah, it would have to be either my Grammy or grandpa. And for the reason of why, oh my gosh, just to hug them, be around them for one more day, that would be incredible. What are your top five favorite lip products? Ooh! The first one, that's my favorite. I don't have it with me. It's in my police vest. That one is the Catrice Lip Plumping Gloss. Oh, it is so good. All time favorite moisturizing balm is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. They also have the Glowy Balm, which is basically the same thing. Really love the Grande Lips Collagen Boosting Plumper. Marc Jacobs Lip Glosses. They're minty, which I just I love that so much. Friend Vanessa actually sent this to me and I am obsessed with this gloss it is so good this is the hard candy flashers plumping serum gloss such a good shiny opaque kind of gloss any plastic surgery you've wanted to get done absolutely freaking lutely i've been saying this since i was like i don't know 11 that i want to get my nose done i hate my nose i just i don't like the bump there i just want them to take that out that's it i don't even want like a new reconstructive nose I like my nose head on, but this just drives me bonkers. What are your favorite makeup brands? Hmm. Love Wet n Wilds. I love Marc Jacobs. I love YSL. If you ever decide to eat fast food, what restaurant is your first pick? <laughs> I always go to Panera because I always want salads. But if it's like a junky, junky fast food restaurant, McDonald's because they're fries. What's your sign? I'm a Taurus. What's your favorite color? Pink. Plain or peanut M&Ms? I am definitely a plain M&M kind of person. I don't like nuts and sweets. Funny drunk story of you and your friends. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> My friends have so many videos of me being a drunken fool back in the day. It's just insanity. What's your favorite all-time coffee drink? So if I was to get this coffee, every day it would definitely be like a caramel macchiato i think those are so good but they're like eight dollars for one cup which is so ridiculous i also really love cold brew cold brew is where it's at i drink that chameleon cold brew all the time are you married how many dogs do you have what kind of breed of dogs are they i am not married i have two dogs one is a shih tzu poodle the other one is a Yorkie Poo Terrier who barks her freaking butt off all the time and it drives me bonkers. When is your next live? Oh, I should do a live soon. I'll do one soon. What's the biggest thing that you love getting out of bed to do? So this might be corny, but opening up all of my shades. I love, love, love sunshine coming through in the morning. I love how bright it makes your space. It's like my favorite thing. When was your first kiss? I think it was when I was 15 and then he ended up being my boyfriend for like a year and a half. What are your top three tips for dating or what do you look for in a guy? As far as tips go, I just don't rush it. If you feel as if something's off, it probably is. So I would shut it down then. Take people for who they are. Don't judge so quickly. What do I look for in a guy? A good career, goal oriented, family oriented, honest, genuine. Where's your next vacation? Also, love your content, stay safe, hon. Ah, oh, thank you. I would really love to go on a peachy vacation next. I don't know when, I probably won't travel this year. I'll probably look into traveling next year, but I would love to go to Aruba, Cabo. What product do you recommend to protect your skin from the sun? SPF is super important. I currently use the one from Tula, the SPF that they have. It's hydrating on the skin, but it has like little flecks of shimmer, which is the only part that I don't like. I also use a Neutrogena SPF 100. So that one is good as well. It's a little bit drying, so I have to mix oil in with it. Do you plan on getting married? Absolutely. Did you play any sports growing up as a kid? I did, I did cheerleading, soccer, and basketball. What is one thing you love about yourself? Have a great day. Aw, you have a great day too. I think it's the positivity. 
I really just pride myself on being positive as much as I can. Favorite kind of ice cream? Oh, I either love the coffee ice cream or strawberry. That's what I usually get with sprinkles. I love rainbow sprinkles, they're my favorite. The best book I've ever read is definitely You Are a Badass. Where are you from? I am just from good old New York. What is something you'd like to accomplish that you haven't? I think it would definitely be a merch line. I think that would be so much fun and just a cool thing to do. I'm slowly working on it, but I would like to get something up and running sooner than later. <laughs> Have there been any protests or riots near you? As of late, no, but there was when everything first started. Have you ever been to Vancouver, Canada before? I haven't, but I've been to Montreal. What is your favorite way to spend your days off? I actually have a few day off videos that you guys should check out on my channel, but I love getting up early. I really enjoy working on YouTube, Instagram, all of that stuff on my days off. <laughs> how, how ridiculous. In the summer, I love going over to my parents' house. I love going out to dinner. Going to breweries. Breweries are like one of my favorites. Who's your celebrity crush? Adam Sandler. Oh he cannot do any wrong i love him so much if i ever met him my heart would just melt that's your workout routine so i typically like to start on my peloton if i'm not doing a full cardio workout that day i will only go on the peloton for probably 20 to 30 minutes and then i'll lift some weights it sucks that the gyms aren't open but I'm doing the best I can from home. What is your favorite workout? I love working out shoulders. If we're talking about like at a gym, I love the stair stepper. What's your type when it comes to dating? I like a guy that has a sense of humor, but I also love someone who is very mellow, low key, because I'm so energetic and like blah, that I love a guy that's just mellow. What is your dream job outside of what you do? I really want to focus on YouTube. This has been a dream of mine for so long. That's why I am beyond appreciative of where my channel has gone. I can't believe that talking about police stuff has actually made my channel grow. It's just so surreal and just crazy to me. But I really wanna see where this goes. I love it so much. I love interacting with you guys. It's just, it's so cool. I'm so appreciative. Do you have any hidden talents? I don't. What was your favorite part of growing up and favorite holiday? My favorite part of growing up was the Sundays that we all spent at my grandpa's house. We have Sunday dinner every Sunday. I just remember going over to my grandparents' house after church and we would make spaghetti and meatballs and then sometimes we would stay there so long that we would have a cookout by the pool. Just. Those are the best. That was just so much fun. I wish I could just go back to that time. Favorite holiday, Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness, my all time favorite holiday. The things that my family makes, ah, oh, they're just top notch. Yams, potatoes, corn casserole, green bean casserole. Love Thanksgiving. Story behind tattoos. I actually have a video talking about my tattoos that is on my channel. What's your perfect Sunday and are we doing Marg Night again post Rona? <laughs> god i love you you're so funny yes we have to you julie and i need to get together so we can have margaritas that was so much fun i love you guys <laughs> so my perfect sunday waking up early making coffee breakfast and watching golden girls until i have to go to my parents house then we have family time there sit out by the pool have some drinks oh perfect sunday where do you see yourself in five years in my home, I'm still trying to uh, build a home, so that's exciting. The process is horrific. Slowly but surely, living in my home next to my parents, maybe some kiddos. What is your dream vacation? P.S. You're awesome and I love your videos. Thank you so much for watching my videos. My dream vacation would be going to Cabo. I've always wanted to go there. It's been a lifelong dream vacation, so hopefully one day. If you weren't a cop, what would you be doing? Probably working in an office somewhere. I really wanted to work at a magazine. How many states have you lived in? Just one. I don't think I'll ever be able to live outside of the state. What is your favorite wine? So I have a few. I pretty much love all wine besides the really sugary sweet stuff. I, ugh, I can't get on board with it. I think my all-time favorite would be Sauvignon Blanc 
or Pinot Grigio. Love wine. My mom's a huge wine person, so she got me into all that stuff. Will you make videos of setting up plants around your home? Would you ever want to own your own garden? As far as this apartment, I just have that little plant corner, which I think is so cute. Owning a garden would be pretty cool, but I don't know if I would be good at it. I hate seeing things die. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do before you leave. And don't forget to follow me on my social medias. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later.